Twice we were in the cab, there's a Volvo excavator, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, it's turning clockwise and I'm pushing another button and I can hear the response from the pump and no turn. Alright guys, if you first time to the channel, subscribe and click that notification bell and you won't miss any videos. Thank you so much for doing that. And I'm going to share with you the direction which you should probably take when you're dealing with any electrical issues like this and it will save you pretty penny because you can do it by yourself you don't need to call a mechanic and this is a simple steps you can take and fix the problem right there okay where the issue most occur in the cab or outside yes you're right we're going outside where's the harness where's the grapple and where's the most likely the issue will occur especially with the harness we're starting from the connector see the inside the grapple we see the connector for the harness unplug that and check for what if the water intrusion could happen and rust build up and you don't have a continuity okay but where we're going to follow the harness and check the loom and we're going from the connector from the grapple up and we're going through the hole in the housing and looking for the contact points where most likely harness can rub against sharp edges of metal and as you can see here we go we found that's what i'm trying to tell look for the contact points that is the most important and the money saver as the contact points of that harness against the metal edges sharp and when probably grapple was changed to the bucket or might be back and was jammed in between or it might got something on it as you can see we have open circuit electricity cannot make a loop and that reason probably why grapple stopped working at this moment where i'm feeling i still don't know will it work or not but that's an obvious step you want to take first look for the contact points and where it most likely happen is not in the cab at outside Oh, here we go. We have uh, everything scrimp, hitch shrink connectors. All will be sealed. All good. Let's plug it in our connector back. Where's uh, our motor? And well, that's the uh, kind of direction I would like to show you. Then we'll how we started troubleshooting before your grapple and your multimeter visual inspection first. Turn your battery power at the master switch on visual inspection visual inspection and contact points that's first thing first okay let's fire it up our volvo excavator whatever you have the grapple and check for the result that's is the moment of truth yeah if you would like to support my small youtube channel as a hobby please go and watch more videos appreciate that feel free and okay we're in operation mode and let's lift it up our boom and get the grapple tested or can low our rpm a little bit there we go oh, that's only four minutes like 10 minutes in real life <laughs> before editing the video and it's working it's very satisfying and we can continue can continue doing a cleanup okay guys thank you so much again for watching subscribe to the channel if you have any questions drop them down in the comment section below and share if you have any issues with your excavator and more videos about the grapple and excavator are coming and uh, yeah stay safe and let's don't break time okay see you soon bye bye